Welcome back to Founders Growth Mindset. I, of course, am Townsend Wardlaw, the one and only, but today I have a very special guest. I think I say that every time, but this time I really mean it. Uh, Chad Burmeister, who is the founder and CEO of a really cool company. I'm going to let you tell him about it. It's called Scalex.ai. So not .com, AI, if you're looking for it, and we'll put a little thing down below. But uh, Chad, welcome. It's great to see you. Uh, we talk a bunch, but I never get to even see your face all that much because we're both running so fast. Yeah, well, that's what I'm learning from people like you is to actually slow down a little bit. So it's good to be here and slow down. Nothing. When we were just chatting, how, how long do you think we've known each other? It's been, it's been a little bit, right? Yeah, I think we met in probably five years ago when I first moved back to Denver after being away from the state for approximately 20 years. So wow. good to be home here in the state of Colorado. Right? Very much so. And uh, why don't you give everybody just kind of a quick overview of, of obviously what you're doing now, but also how'd you come to be here, right? And, you know, we'll get high level stuff and let them know what you're doing, then we'll dig in. Yeah. So ScaleX.ai is a company we've been around only about a year and a half, but we've deployed 100 customers in that time. And so I've always had a very big frustration when I have a sales team that has to hit a number and you know, phone calls, email, social data, where do I start? Where do I pull the data? What do I say? How do I say it? And so we use artificial intelligence to help salespeople basically build the pipeline and then crush their numbers. So over the years, I've had a lot of success with a lot of people, right? I, I've, I've had ment, uh, I've mentored people who've become leaders of sales organizations, 100, 200, 300 people deep. And there's nothing more exciting to me than being able to work with people early in their career so that I can see them progress over the years. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, now, and now you're launching this technology that's going to you know, effectively automate and, and use AI to help automate a lot of this top of the funnel stuff, right? Yeah. It's an interesting topic, right? I just came out with a brand new book that's on Amazon like three days ago. And I'll point out the Discover Org logo is still incorrect because they just changed their name <laughs> to Zoom Info powered by Discover Org. And that's, that's what took funny. me an extra month to, to delay the book. But, there, you know, there's two sides of AI for sales. There's augmentation and there's assistance. So augmentation is helping a seller be better at what it is they're doing. Assistance is kind of the efficiency side. So it's more of the uh, activity-based side. Right. So did you make your yeah. calls today? Yeah. <laughs> did you send out the right number of emails? AI can yeah. do the emails. AI can do the social. AI can do a lot. Yeah. And so it's very interesting. Call. A lot of the me I mean, they're really menial tasks if you think about it. Yeah. And what's interesting though, just like think of Ring Central. I used to work there. We would go into a company that's using a normal telco. And until Ring Central actually became better than the telco, not just the cost savings, but better because it's managed virtually. That's the same thing that's happening with AI. There's a tipping point where the AI actually is better because it can look across who is Townsend Wardlaw. If I'm sending him an email, what right. phrases should I use in order to get him to respond? What time of day should I send an email? So there's a lot of things that AI, or should I send him an email at all? Maybe I should call him. So there's a lot it's of things. It's kind of like cheating. It's kind of like cheating. <laughs> it's kind of like cheating. Yeah. That's yeah. So, so that's, that's what our company does. Yeah. yeah. 100 deployments and we're seeing a lot of lift when it comes to amazing. Sales. So, I mean, amazing, right? You've been doing this a year from, you know, launch to technology to a hundred clients. What's the biggest challenge you're dealing with right now? Well, you know, if you ask me today versus six months ago, I, I could give you two different answers today. I'm, pivoting the company and not pivoting, I'm adding a product. I'm in the process of writing code. I've never built software, <laughs> but yeah. every VC I talked to, every investor I talked to said, oh, you don't own the IP, you're a reseller, therefore you're a services company, therefore you're worth two to three times. Ah, okay, got it. So I'm in the process. You're deploying other people's components today. Yeah, we have a lot of white label products. We yep. partner with Discover Org. We partner with email. We, we put together the best of breeds and then we help you deploy it. Where we're headed is creating a new software product. And so having not really done that before, I've been the VP of sales. I've influenced my development team, but I've never been the CEO making money decisions on those kinds of things. 
Yeah. So you, you're not writing the, I mean, you're, you're bringing folks in to do this stuff, but, but overseeing and managing. Yeah. I have, I have yeah. definitely smart people. And I think, honestly, I think yeah. the, the blocker between me and actually writing code and, and de delivering it, it's, it's a self-imposed blocker. It, just in the last couple of weeks of deciding to do this. Yeah. It's be hard. Somebody in fact sent me this button. Uh, where did it go? Somebody took it. I swear it was in my office earlier. So oh, they took it. It's the easy button. The state. Ah, yeah, that's that was easy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Funny shit. So, so you're doing that. That's that's not really the biggest challenge. I mean, that's 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 really a uh, you know call it a, a directional shift for the company to create more value. Right at the end of the day. Well, the challenge in my own head is how do you balance cash flow with spending money on building a product? Because a lot of companies have the luxury of a venture capital firm coming in and saying, yeah, well, here's 250000 or $2 million or $5 million. Go build a team of engineers. Right. The, right. The challenge that I'm faced with is, okay, how do I build the minimum viable product that is sellable and, uh, and still is valuable to the customer without venture capital money? Yeah. Well, the answer is carefully, right? The answer is carefully. Yeah. How about on the well, – how are you solving that today? Well, so I have really smart people that I've networked with over the last several years yeah. and in a 15 minute conversation and in a two hour workshop last night, <laughs> in fact, I built out the mock-ups and I, you know, went into other people's apps and said, here's how I want it to work. Mm -hmm. And then he came back to me today in a conversation. We talked 10 minutes and he gets it. So he's going to, the, the dev team within a week is going to come back with a prototype Mm -hmm. And it really won't be a problem. And it's going to cost about $5,000 for the minimum viable product. Throw away pretty cheap. Is, is it going to be a fundamentally different product or just replacing some of the components you're already using? Well, so what we've discovered is that if you add digital, and I'm, going to, I'm not going to give you the whole secret because there's a, sure. you know, there's a monetization play that's being done right at the moment. But yeah. you can add digital to your outbound prospecting, phone, email, and social. If you're already reaching out to those folks, now you add digital ads on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. We mm -hmm. all live in our phones. Yeah. If I can show you some subliminal advertising through those other channels while I'm reaching out to you prospecting, huh. it gives you, we're, we've done some tests and it's two to three times the lift in reply rates on email. Wow, that's fascinating. Yeah. That's really cool. So, so it's really creating some additional functionality that doesn't exist with your other components. That's right. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's talk about growth, right? I mean, 100 is an amazing number, right? Where are you guys in the trajectory and, and what's limiting your growth today? What's limiting our growth is that 75% of our business is services business. And so it takes people to, uh, to deliver services. And it, it's interesting. I've been in this outbound game for a long time. Yeah. And whether you deliver 50 meetings or 500 the customer is always going to find a reason that, well, you know, that one really isn't a great meeting. And yeah, but what about that one that turned into a $1 million deal? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But maybe I would have got that without you. And, well, no, you probably wouldn't have. Um, yeah. So the services business is just, it's tough to scale to a larger company. I could probably get to 5 million or 10 million. But a product company I'm learning is, is a much more scalable type of a company. Interesting. And, and, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that companies want to own this stuff, right? They, they, they're really uncomfortable, right? Because essentially you are an outsourced yes. vendor. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the more I can, I can build into a product set and then hand off to the customer. Right now, the, mm -hmm. you have eight products that you're deploying for a customer. There's a lot of knobs that you're pulling for. There's a lot of moving pieces. Yeah. A lot of moving pieces. So yeah. in order to hand that off, I was challenged by TK the other day. TK does this thing called Unstoppable Sundays. And it's yeah. great. He's, uh, he's the founder of... Um, Tout App, which sold, yeah, Tout App, yeah, exactly. which sold to Adobe, yep. right? So he was yep. responsible yeah. for a three billion dollar sale of marketo to adobe yeah and it was amazing so he was he was inside my brain challenging me the other day and said you know why do you want to build this complex eight yeah. pack thing and, and he really yeah. got to the core and it was huh 
that's a good question. There's something inside me that I think I need to prove to somebody that I can do hard things. And that's why he sent me the easy button, right? The staples easy. He goes, Chad, why, why do you have to make it harder for yourself than it actually is? Focus on one thing and do really, really well. at it. And I was like, yes. It, and it goes back. I brought up my other challenge in March. I talked to you this, to talk to you this, talk to you about this a few weeks ago. Yeah. And in March I had a challenge because I was selling a hundred to $200,000 a month in services business. And all of a sudden I dropped to 30. And so it exposes the jagged rocks in the ocean when you drop from a 200 K run rate down to 30. Sure. And so I discovered, wow, my ability to save money and manage a PL, I'd never had that muscle before in my personal life and in my business life. One of the reasons I was really excited to have you on is, is you're a new founder, right? You've got street cred out the wazoo in terms of, in terms of, you know, growing businesses from a sales standpoint, you get it. You, you know, reach for the brass ring of I'm going to build a company, right? And uh, you're finding out real time all the things you don't know, you don't know, and, and how fascinating that is. And, you know, that was my journey, as we've talked about, you know, building a company and just making every mistake. And, you know, finance is a big, oh, shit, I need to know that. Oh, cash flow. Oh, I need to know that too. Um, so that's really exciting. I want to go back to what you said about, right, because I get the jagged rocks. and that, That's really interesting. So he said, here's an easy button. Why are you making it hard? Where are you at with that right now? It's funny. Notice I took a deep breath in that. And that was the same deep breath that I took with him. And I don't know why there's such an arm wrestle with it. I really, really don't. Mm. It seems to me what I, what I really connect with over the last week or two is I like to sell a lot of transactions because I like to help people. And, and I like the feeling like when I go up to central city and I have a streak of a $2,000 win on a craps table, I enjoy that experience. And so there's this win, win, win button is important to me. And so as long as I can find that, it doesn't matter if it's an easy button or a hard button, as long as I'm inside of that level of selling and not just me, but a team of people that work with me because then I can mentor, help them, and they learn how to go sell in a transactional kind of a world. I enjoy being in a transactional world. Okay. You like the transaction, certainly. So, so let's see if you've been listening to yourself. <laughs> what's, what's your greatest challenge right now as you look at growing this company? Hmm. <laughs> My greatest challenge is creating a product that fits that mold that that allows me and a team of people to go out and sell something that's repeatable, renewable, and helps the customer build their business. Yeah, that's not it. Well, my minute made uh, lemonade here for the Yeah, there you go. Well, that is that is a present initiative, right? Based on a series of assumptions, hypotheses, blah, 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 blah. Right? You're going to build this product. You're going to build it. And then you're going to take it to the market. And the market's going to tell you what they think about it. Right? And you have a unique advantage in that I have 100% confidence that you will get, you will have a conversation with the market, a real conversation, versus sit there and wonder. Right? I was, I was coaching somebody yesterday, and I was begging them to stop thinking. Yeah. Right? You have the concept. Now go have conversations with people and get told yes or go pound sand. Right. And, and they're not wired like you are. They're not good at, okay, build the list. Right? We, we, we wake up and go, okay, I know how to get in front of people. So the good news is unlike most entrepreneurs, you're not going to suffer from the, you know, I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep polishing the stone. Right. And never tell anybody about it. So that's good. So I, so I trust you to build the product. I trust you to go and have conversations and get brutal feedback one way or the other. So that's not your problem. That's, that's, the, that's, the, present act, that's the present activity, right? Mm -hmm. Think back to what TK challenged you with, right? What was he really saying to you? What was he really asking you, right? This, he's no dummy, right? This is a smart, 
mofo. He said, look, Chad, you can, he said, you can do a services business. And he was almost, I, I wasn't sure if in his own mind, he knew the right answer based because he knows me pretty well too. And so I wasn't sure if he was leading me to the path or he wasn't sure himself, but he said, you could build a services business. You can make boatloads of cash. And he said, but I, I could tell he was kind of saying, if you play in this slight other world, and this is what all the money has told me, and it's just math. My son's an advanced calculus, and I went up in his room the other day and helped him with some math. Helped him with math. Yeah, yeah sure you did, yeah. <laughs> I learned from him. It was pretty crazy stuff. But the math to me says a valuation of a business in software is 20 times $1 million. That's a $20 million valuation. I, to, sure. So which game do I want to play in? Is, is really the thing I'm wrestling with right now. Bingo, right? The That's, question is, the biggest challenge is what game do you want to play, right? Because yeah. Chad Vermeister loves doing shit, yeah. right? Yeah. Hammer, nail, 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 right? I mean, I, if I need somebody to pound nails, you're hanging out with me. Yes. You're also actually good at building and creating, et cetera, right? But, and leading, and I can get people to follow my vision. So there's yeah. a whole other world. The question world is, to played. what end, right? Are we, is, is this – I find it interesting because it's, it seems to me like you have the glint in your eyes of, you know, a software play, right? Which, hey, why, why isn't that blinding? It's funny. I was, I was just having lunch with the guy today, and we were both laughing. Uh, I was actually telling him a funny story about a client who was fixated on a platform play right? They had this amazing SaaS software, right? So the funny part is everybody has somebody else to make fun of. You're sitting there going, oh, I'm services. I want to be software. Software people go, oh, I want a platform. I don't know what platform people want, but they, they still go, I want something else, right? What yeah. do you want? What are you trying to build? What, let me change it. What is Chad Burmeister trying to create? Well, that's good. My very early mantra was there are 86,400 seconds in a day. What am I using with those seconds to help other people get what they want? So I've always had this underlying core is to help other people be successful. So to me, the more people that could leverage what I create to be successful in their job, that excites the living heck out of me. That's, that's nice, but that's like saying I like breathing and taking a poop. Right? <laughs> The truth is, that's who you are, right? I've known you long enough. That's in your core. That's not, that's not the journey you're on. That's just that's a byproduct of it. Right? Byproduct. And, yeah. and the difference is, you could say, I'm just here to help other people be happy when you were riding along in somebody else's company, right? Well, you're, you're trying to create, create something that's going to get someplace or achieve something or what have you. And if you're not certain about what that is – right? It's going to take longer. It's going to cost more. There's more risk, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, the, the, the hard dollar part of it is, is fairly straightforward. Um, right. I've worked a long time in my career as have a lot of people that I know. And there's a point where you look at it, you say, all right, what's on the, what's on the second half of the nine of the 18 hole golf course, right? Mm -hmm. if I'm, I'm near completing the first nine. What's the second nine look like? There's a guy that I've been <laughs> okay. You you're on the second of four nines at this point. Yeah, well that could be you got a couple more turns of the crank here. By the time AI is really here, we can probably make ourselves live forever by so, so so yeah, so Gary, so here's what are the options here? What do you what do you perceive to be the options of where you're headed? Well, I could be a services company and I could okay. build so so let's 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 slow it down. Yeah. So you are a services company, by the way. Yeah. So there's, there's continue on the path of services. Yeah. We'll get into what it means and the pros and cons in a minute, but let's just, let's just make sure we're thinking about this. And let's, let's, let's break it out. 75% services, 25% recurring revenue. So we're part software, right? Subscription based model. And then we provide 75% services on top of that. Okay. So we could continue down that path and 75, 25, we could become a $3 million company probably by the end of next year. Okay. And my handful of employees could do quite well and our customers would be happy and we could continue down that path. Okay. Another option is, and frankly, the reason I'd left 
Connect and Sell to join Ring Central, by the way, was to go discover what problem needed solving. So I invested two to three years there to yeah, understand what problem needed solving with a software application. So yeah. I want to, you know, I my option too is create a software product that right. can be sold and what's good about it is that once I sell it, it continues with, with or without me there, right? With the services business, it's kind of like a restaurant. <laughs> the, the, the CEO has to be constantly engaged in almost all transactions. With a software company, I can build a much more scalable organization that, grow, that can grow from one and a half to three to six to 10 to 20, et cetera. Okay. So those are two options. Uh, a third could be, hey, you know what? The CEO stuff isn't for me. Let me go back and be a salesperson. That's not even on the page. That's at this point. I've no, I've, of course not. You you you'd go run a company if you're going to do anything, right? That's right. It shows up for me that you're looking. Your face is really close to the glass right now, right? You're really pressed up against the glass and looking at this, right? And that's not a bad thing, right? It's it's fun. Everything's going on, right? but you're but you're sitting there going. I'm going to define my journey by am I services, am I software, or am I going to get a job, right? Which, which technically are choices. But even, I mean, there's, there's so many things flying through my head, right? Even the concept of why services seems uh, less desirable for you, right? You know what that reason is? Why services seems less desirable, and it's not the multiple. Yeah, no, it's not the multiple. You're right. Okay, so so, so what? So what is it? Just, just go slow and just give me the one. The simple answer as to why services is services is less desirable because the amount of churn in the business is too great, and more importantly, my personal brand. This is the third level of why my personal brand is on the line. And if I deliver something that's unacceptable to a customer for whatever reason, right? There's a company in Denver today. And he's like, Chad, I'm happy I spent 28,000. You helped me this, 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 and this. I'm like, yeah, but I, we only got you six meetings, 40 future meetings. And he's like, but Chad, you don't understand. You helped me because now I, I'm going to do it in a different way. And yeah. so it's- Do you, do you it's think your brand, do you think your brand gets- do you think Chad gets removed when you sell software? That's funny because you're not the first person that asked me that question. Yeah. So here's yeah. the thing, right? And I just put out a, a post about this. Most of the time what we're seeking are the means, not the end. Right? Yeah. I want to be a software company, not a service company, so that, right? And you said brand. What you said early in the conversation that you might not remember is, oh, I got to be involved in everything. Right? Yeah, right. So this is, this, this is where we get out of the details. We get away from the press glass and we say, let's go way up here and watch, watch this man, Chad, on his journey and see, see if we can help him figure out where he's really headed, right? Because then he's going to have a lot of clarity, clarity about what he should do. Because right now, he's making a lot of decisions about the means. Well, if I, if I switch from software to services. I've, I've kind of got bets, right? If I'm, in, I'm going to Vegas on Saturday for a conference, and so on the roulette table, you could play, you know, row one and row two and leave row three blank. And so I'm, I'm putting two bets out there, right? My, my, my question to you is, to what end, right? Right now you're in the, well, software services, job, valuation, blah, blah, blah. Let's ask a big question. What does Chad want? What does Chad really, really, really want? And frankly, the reason he's doing all this shit. Well, so yeah. Okay. So my pastor, before we got married said, you can do anything for any amount of time, as long as you know why. Okay. And so my wife and I've used that a lot. <laughs> yeah. As long as you know why. Um, it doesn't matter what I sell. It, it matters that I'm in the motion. The, at the end of it, I, look, I'm 47 and I always had this vision by 50, that's where I go to the back nine, that if I want, 
I could go around a cruise ship for a year. I could take a year off. I'm really starting to plan ahead for what is retirement. Okay. So, okay. So to be honest, what is a cruise ship and a metaphor and I'm oh, sorry, what is a cruise ship and retirement a metaphor for? Why did you, why did you, why did you leave the corporate world and say I'm going to go on my own? It's to make a bigger splash in the world. It's to make a, uh, yeah, sure. Worth that's worth something. Okay. And, and, and when you got your pile of money, when you've done all these things, what do you now have access to that you really, really want more than anything? Time, time with my wife around the, to go, to go do things. Yeah. You uh, have time with your wife, but you don't control it all today. Right? Yeah. Right. I, yeah, that, I, I mean, I've seen, you know, my dad retired, I think when he was 65 and that's the normal thing. I, I'm honestly looking for, okay, how do I get to a place where I'm financially secure where I could be able to do that? What is the Would one word? What, like, well, so, 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 so work with me. What is the one word that describes the situation of not having to be in every deal, being able to sell my company and walk away, leaving the corporate world and starting my own thing, retirement, seeing my wife when I want to travel. What's the one word that, that, that wraps around all that? Stability. Mm, Stability is a means to an end. <laughs> it's, it's the thing we all fucking want, dude. Begins with the letter F. Uh, freedom. Yeah. Freedom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. How does, yeah. How does that word, how does that word land for you? Yeah. Um, I, I think that's very fair. Yes. Freedom is. I mean, I mean to me, I'm I'm saying, I see it's the theme in everything you're fucking doing. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to be service. I don't really want to be in every deal. Right? Yeah. I want to start my own company, right? It's, I want to be free. I want to be free. Yes, yes, yes. So there's a, that's the theme, dude. It's really important because that's what you're playing for. Yeah. Everything else, everything else is a means to that end. Yes. So when you go with software services, that's not the wrong, that's not a bad conversation, but if you don't have the, the milestone, the goalpost of, is this going to bring me greater freedom? You can't actually make good decisions. Yes, yes, yes. Right? What happens is people make decisions and they don't think about that and then they find themselves in prison just in a prettier cell. Right? Yes. So, so you know, I don't, I don't think TK was trying to lead you in any direction, Right? You got to remember, we love solving problems. We love fixing things. We love helping people. That's part of who we are. But at the end of the day, we're playing a game called freedom, right? Yeah, yeah right. Okay. So, what is the big game that Chad's playing right now? <clears throat> the only game he's ever played in life. Rephrase the question. What is the place you most passionately in your heart want to get to? The ultimate destination, at least on this earth. Wow. Yeah, that's a good one. Where, that's the five to ten years out question. No, it's the right now question. It's the right now question. So, well, because, well, I'll get back to that in a minute, right? We, 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 we think about goals and the how, right? I'm, I'm saying, what's the where, baby? What's the where, right? Everything we're doing now is a means to some end or we wouldn't be doing it. What's the where? What's the ultimate destination? The ultimate destination is there's a, I, so that's, a, that's a good one. I think of my father-in-law who built the business, uh, undercover deck business, and he's only partially involved. He looks at the books on his iPhone from time to time. So it's to build a business that doesn't require chat in the day-to-day -day operations. Okay. That's a means. That's not the end. And then when you have this business that doesn't require you, what are you doing? Yeah. Now I'm, okay, that's good. What am I doing? Well, I own a house in the mountains at that point. I'm going up there more frequently because I go up there for a little bit at a time here and there. 
Um, I, I really am thinking of, at one point I said my wife and I would buy a, a cruise for a year and we would go on, just take sure. a year off, right? Actually go around. Yeah. Um, I like to ski. I'd be, I'd go do a Japan trip. I'd just take more time off. It's really what and, I, and, and then when you played all the golf and did all the skiing. Yeah, now you're. All the shit. <laughs> now, now what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a tough question. Yeah, that's a tough My dog's barking, but it's okay. Gave you a break. <laughs> it, it, is, is it really a tough question, though? <clears throat> I'm always been a workaholic from the time I've been a kid. You're never, you're never, you're never going to stop yeah. working. But when you have all the money yeah, right. and all the time, what are you going to do with it? Then what? You ain't going to sit there... Watching Oprah eating bonbons, I know that. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, what, are you most, what are you most passionate about? It's interesting. I haven't answered. I, I have. That's a question I haven't answered. It's not. Yeah. Well, here's not, the thing, right? You're at this, in my view, you're at this amazing point in life, right? There's no, there's no, there's no, and then Chad ended up on the street, right? Bar, barring really extreme circumstances. Yeah, barring uh, accident on a ski slope. Like, yeah, exactly. Right. So, <laughs> you know, we're sitting here going, wow, we have all this possibility. And all of a sudden our brain starts narrowing these choices, right? Well, what do we do this, do this, do that, the other thing. What about outside of yourself? What about service? Serving others. I, I seem to remember that being kind of important to you. Yeah. 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 I mean, what's it? So I'm I'm pushing you on the yeah, why here. Yeah. I, mean, I don't I don't have to kill you on it, but that's right. I I get it. Um, a friend of mine always wanted to be a professor at some point and give back that way. Um, my you know my give back. I it's hard for me to think that far ahead. Of right? course it is. Like to where TK got to where now he's his goal is to help a thousand people out, and I'm looking at that going, that's a that's awesome, right? He's taking the year to just do that. And, and I applaud and I respect that. I feel like, am I, am I at a point yet where I'm able to, to do that? Probably. <laughs> well, and, 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 and there's a couple ways to play this. One is, am I at that point already? But I'm actually making a bigger point about this. And I'm, and I'm, I'm grilling you because I want other people to hear this too. We have an amazing capacity to get wherever we put our minds to, right? My whole life, your whole life. Wow, we look. Yeah, right. You you say it and you do it is basically. Yeah, if you can come up with, you can get there, right? That's right. And I love that you're building this business, right? You are you are in the thick of it, and most people are going, "Wow, Chad, this is amazing what you're doing." I'm saying, dude, you're staring you're staring at the ground in front of you. Pick up your head because that's what's going to create the thrust to where you really want to be, and it's going to make. All these decisions, which you should, you know, show yeah, us right. are complicated. Right. It just makes them smaller little decisions. Yeah. They, they are, right? Um, yeah. Do you want to go, you know, help 50,000 kids in Africa get clean water? Do you want to build what? I mean, it doesn't really matter, but you're going to get there to the point of all the money, all the whatever. The question is, will you, will you get to enjoy the experience every day between here and there? Right. Or will you get bogged down, make it more complicated? Right. Cause at the end of the day, if I want to get there, then I've got a couple of considerations. One, what do I need to get there? And two, what's the easiest way? What's yeah. the simplest way? And I stop complicating things. Yeah. That, that's the path. That's the easy button path. So it says, why put all the hurdles in place that don't need to be there, but you first have to have the map. My cousin told me that early. You have to have the finding, destination finding a career, right? He said, Look, write down what you want and then go find the, the jobs that get you to what you want. You, you, so, said, you said you have to have the map. I believe you have to have the destination, the destination. and work backwards. Yeah, yeah, the destination right. and work backwards. So what's your secret dream? What's your secret dream that, you're, that you may not even believe you deserve to have? <clears throat> secret someday dream. Man, it's funny because honestly, I feel like I feel like I'm living the dream. I've got the right kids. I'm I'm in it. I'm in it right now, right? I'm in the dream. I'm, I'm glad you DNA tested them and they're the right kids. 
<laughs> yes, that's that's right. That's very true. Um, so I'm living the dream. And so w- what could it be? I've given you the, cr- the cruise ship is the closest thing that I can tell you because I just, I, I love to go to different countries. Okay. So take, take and, a, you, taking a year off, yeah. taking a year off okay, and, yeah. and traveling the world with your wife. Yeah. Right. That's not bad. That's a good start. Yeah. I, I have the funnest job in the world, right? I do. And, and job, career, passion, whatever you call it, because I don't, I don't talk to people that aren't, already do, aren't, that aren't already doing amazing things, right? And it's funny, I put out, I put out this scorecard that I, that I use for folks recently, and uh, it's, it's four columns. It's strive, thrive, success, and exponential success. So people kind of grade where they are and where they want to be. Well, somebody says, well, you don't have these values on you. Like there's one about money. Right, one of the one of the attributes is money, and like, well, you don't have the, a section. It's like I can't pay your bills. I'm like, yeah, that's called struggle. Those aren't my people, right? There's lots of people that help those people. I help people who are already doing well, right? the The fun part about that is I get to say to them the thing nobody else says, which is, you're actually playing pretty small, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For, for as for as powerful as you are, for as amazing as you are, for as much capacity. I'm saying this not just in general, but you, Chad Burmeister, have to impact the fucking world. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If you're waking up every day. I love that you're going to go on a cruise. Right. But I'm going to challenge you, man. You are, yeah. you are a spiritual man. You're a God. Right? Yeah. 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 It's time to think bigger. Right. For a lot of reasons. One, you'll be there before you know it. Yeah. Two, it's going to create all the pull together. Right. So you got, yeah. you got me to one more that, that is the after that. And this is pretty, this is just deep. This is a deep, this is deep. You just got to. So when we lived in Charlotte, there was this church called Elevation Church. In fact, before I suited up, I was wearing the Elevation shirt. Uh, funny enough. On, on uh, this not day, really. That's, that's how the universe that works, right? That have occurred on this day, right? Mm-hmm. I haven't worn that shirt in two years. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, here you go. So this is very interesting. I went as far, I was so intrigued because when I would walk out of this church, I felt that I had an ar- a suit of armor on. And I was like, wow, they've taken this biblical concept and God, and they've put yeah. it into real world terms. Yeah. And so you'd go in there and I, was, I would walk out and go, man, you just hit this between the eyes. I got my mom turned on to it. She takes it into hospitals now and she shows people an iPad and says, here, you're on your last leg, you should check out Elevation. And I'm like, wow, my original dream that you've just recaptured, when I moved to Denver, I went to them and I said, how much would it cost to start this up? And it's a million bucks. And that was five years ago, I don't know what it is now, but to build a satellite campus, because Elevation, they have eight satellite campuses in Charlotte. And I was like, wow, Denver, Elevation, it just kind of rings. Yeah. And so I, I do want to help people and I see, man, man, that's just really going to make, <laughs> it's going to be too easy now. You've just gotten me back into the easy place. Yeah. Because when I was, man, <laughs> when I was in the job, there were certain hurdles that other people are in my way getting me to the end destination. Yeah. And so then going out and venturing out into my own, now I've taken that hurdle away and now I had the cash flow hurdle. Now I've cleared that in May. I've put the easy button on financial. Now I'm clearing the hurdle of services to software. But now we have, if I have that end destination in mind of, you know what? I've been through trials and struggles in my life. We all have, whether you're a CEO, a rep, it doesn't matter. We all have the same stuff. Yeah. But if I could bring the, if I could bring that level of power where people could walk out of that every Sunday morning, man, that could be impactful. Yeah. I think you'd make TK's thousand people a year look like peanuts. Look like peanuts. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking the power of not just what happens when you're there, right? I always say that our dreams can be a place to get to someday, but they can also be a place to come from right now and every day in between. And that's what creates drawn enrollment, right? You're, you are a magnetic personality, dude. You always have been, right? People love hanging out with your passion, your energy, your mind, right? Well, now this is a different level of connection, right? 
I'm building a software company or a service company or whatever the hell you're building. Why are you doing that, man? Well, yeah, right, right. Someday I want to open this and I want to serve this many people and, and here's what it's going to do for them. Right? Yes. That, yeah. That, that moves mountains. Yeah. Right? And creates thrust in our life and it's it's fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I love that you were wearing this shirt earlier. If you were actually wearing it open it, that'd be that would have been even crazy. Ah, and that's hilarious <laughs> because I literally that was the that was the intent. Uh, I was honestly gonna throw it over the top of the shirt. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's really good. Man, I'm just looking around going, what other elevation stuff do I have? Interesting. Very, very deep. That's very good. Well, I think you know where you're headed. Yeah. I mean, you see it in my posts every once in a while. I'll pull a, a quote out. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll take a picture every day. I flip something on my counter. Yep. And I'm not an overly, I don't want to be in your face and say, you must be religious and you must change. I'm the kind of person that says, you know what? There's just a lot of good truth that's, that's in there. Just come to, come to get a motivational talk on a yeah. Sunday morning, right? Well, and, and it, it's, you know, this isn't about religion, right? The, about the, the fact is that we, we, we do this crazy thing called start a business, right? This is founder's growth mindset. And we put our heart and soul in it. And, and for some reason, we, we, we push further and further down what we really want, what we're really praying for, right? You're not just looking for your own freedom. You're looking to give others freedom, right? That's what, that, that's what elevation is all about. Right? Yeah. That theme, that's right. want, other people have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you can wake up and play that game every day. Now you can play the game of helping other people get the freedom. It's interesting right. because what's, what's started to happen over the last three months, and I don't know how or why, but people are saying, wow, you really seem to be good at all this. You've been top of funnel. Can I hire you to be my mentor? I'll pay you $500 a discovery call. And I'm like, I, I, I haven't really been a coach in that area. I go, yeah, I sell really well. But, <laughs> I, you know. Well, it, so, so, so let's slow that down a little bit because I think that there's another little conversation here, which is now that, now that Chad has some clarity on, wow, here's where I really want to be. There are decisions you make every day of how you use your time of, 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 you know, how you spend your energy to let's just face it, get it right. Do this thing the right way, right? Build the company, sell the company. And there's, there's ego in that. We all have it. When we raise it up to the next level, right? We have an automatic check and balance that says, is this something I should be spending my time on? Whether or not I'm good at it, whether or not I can do it, right? I mean, let's say if somebody's paying you to be their mentor, that's really flattering and that's really nice of you. Is that going to get you where you need to be? Yeah, no. And, and no. This, I, I said no to this example. My only uh, point I understand, but, but now that, that's the easy one. Now look inside at all the things you're doing today. Yeah, right. Right? Everything, right? I'm glad you're getting good at finance, Chad. There's other people who are good at finance. There's not a lot of people who are good at saying, let me tell you where we're going, right? right. And that is what creates drag for founders is, right? Maybe what... TK was saying was stop trying to be good at everything. Stop trying to be the best at everything. No, learn to hit the easy button because that's going to get you where you want to be. But that's hard because we want to get it right. But if we're playing this bigger game, it's much easier to go, okay, I need to hit the easy button because I got to get there. Right, 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 right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, right. I, it, you know, Chris Duggan has built a couple successful companies. I worked for him at WebEx. Um, when we met two years ago, right when I was starting this company, he kind of looked at it and said, you know, and then I talked to him even a year ago and he said, Hey, great. You're doing this. You should probably start to put lieutenants in place to scale your business. Because if you're doing all of the roles, CMO, CEO, uh, is, is that where you're going with it? From a, the, how, yeah. But how did that show up for you when you said you should do system, that? right? How did that show up when you're like, Oh, you should get people and hire people, whatever. Well, I did. I started to hire some people. Okay. And I used my tools and technologies that I use to hire people, scoring algorithms. I say, okay, this person's great. And it didn't, it didn't, it hasn't worked two or three times. What hasn't worked? Hiring and, and empowering someone <laughs> to do the role that, oh. that, uh, that I'm able to do. Yeah. That's a normal founder situation, I think. Well, it, it is. I mean, that's a whole nother 
that's probably a whole other hour conversation. That's a whole other yeah. hour, yeah. But you know, the reality is, are you looking for people to do what you do or what you could do or do what you could do as good as you do? Or are you looking for people to help accelerate right, the real game you want to play, right? And, and part of the challenge is you've got a nice little bumper sticker called, I'm going to, what, what was it called again? What was the name of the, 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 the church? Elevation. Yeah. You got a nice bumper sticker. I'm, I'm going to build an elevation church. The real work now is you got to make that vision tangible, right? So we're going to follow up and I'm going to say, I want to, I want to hear you tell me what this looks like and when it's going to be, right? Because if we have it conceptual, you're going to still keep waking up and making the decisions you've been, you've been making them, taking the actions, and you keep telling us, oh, I'm going to do this someday. But if you make that dream tangible and vivid and specific and you commit to that, right? Yeah, yeah, gonna yeah. Fly. It's going gonna, it's gonna to require you to figure out those other – that's the afters, right? Before and after, I commit yeah. to the after – all the other stuff to get there, those are just going to be natural decisions that occur. One way to look at it is these guys I hired didn't work out. Another way to look at it is you didn't have enough powerful enough dream pulling you away from doing this shit that you needed them to be successful and made sure they were successful. Right, right. Right? Yeah, right. Put in the right process and systems in place that... Uh, or, or fire them and try something new or whatever it takes, right? An obstacle only slows us down if our dream ain't big enough. Right. The bigger our dream, the less this shit. It's just little bumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bigger the why, the bigger the try is what Gerhard likes to say. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And you don't even feel the try, right? Yeah. Just bumpity bump over it, right? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. I'm not going to get to my, you know, I don't care if it's a 10 year vision. I'm not going to get to my 10 year vision of serving this many people in this way unless I do this, this, and this. How will figure itself out? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and we will naturally shed all the idiosyncrasies and egosyncrasies, which is a made up word, that are, that are getting in our own way, right? The only thing keeping us from, from there is us. The more vivid the there is, the more we want it, the less we really need to listen to that. We can let go of us on the way, right? We yeah, start, yeah. how am I gonna look selling my company? Did I get it right? Did I get the right valuation to, to I don't give a shit. Yeah, I achieved my goal that I wanted to achieve, which 100% of the time is achieved when you just put your mind to it. So we uncovered the goal in this meeting, and uh, that's a that's a big task because that at, an hour ago it wasn't there, and now it's back. It was there Good. three Good. five years ago when I moved here. Good. And so yeah, that's that's good. now you got now you got a real goal post to aim for. <laughs> yeah, right? but I'm serious. You, you know, and I, I'm going to follow up with you and, and bust your chops because what I want to hear is, tell me about this thing. Describe this vision to me, right? Tell me what's going on, who you're serving, how you're serving, what's going on, right? And then everybody else needs to hear that story, right? And if they don't like religion, they can screw off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Th those aren't your people, right? If people don't get that you are passionate about serving, you know, and they want to put it behind it, well, I'm not really. Yeah, I don't care if you're religious or not. This isn't about that. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. All right, man. I'm, I'm on vacation for a couple of weeks. You're lucky. So, uh, <laughs> I'll rash you in a couple. Good. Well, I'll keep my meditation going and now I have something new to meditate on for the next. Well, time. here's the beauty, right? You meditate and guess what? All the answers are just going to pop up. I know. Up. It's like gold and, a, and, a, and then my dreams even, right? 617 this morning, I had a game changing dream about the company. And it was like, wow, because I've been in the gray matter every day for 30 days. Yeah. And, with own access. It's <laughs> amazing. So thanks for helping nudge me through a new direction. I love it, man. Great to chat with you. Great to see you. See your smiling face and, and really happy for everything you're doing, man. It's amazing. Elevation. Here we come. I love it. Talk soon, my friend. All right. Thanks.